welcome back, it's Christine again with The Artist Pod, and today I'll be talking about how to draw a giraffe. As always, I'm using a Wacom Intos Pro tablet, and I'm drawing straight into Photoshop. So, let's get arting. All right, so here is uh, the giraffe. So, um, I know it doesn't look exactly like a giraffe, but there's a lot more spotting, like a lot more like you know, spots to the face, and the neck isn't quite right. I definitely um, took some artistic liberties with some of the coloration and so like this is a little bit more orangey and creamy um, so yeah I think uh, I think it's gonna look interesting though. so um, the way I've been kind of doing these recent portraits is I've been creating it fully in uh, shadow first as opposed to doing my normal sort of sketching over, right? And so when I'm talking about that, what I mean is um, it's light pin pressure, right? That's how I'm doing this. I'm putting very, very light pin pressure um, and sort of fully filling it in so that when I'm ready to add the highlights, all I have to do, you know, is add the highlights. <laughs> now with a giraffe, you know, they have, um, well, for one, they have less lines in this, but, um, you know, their spots are all dark, but they have this sort of darker strip down the middle up to their, I don't know what they're called, up to their little, like, duper things. <laughs> their ears are the lighter color. Um, you have a transition right through here, you know, into that cream for the, for the lines around the dark. The nose and mouth are both in the darker color. Um, so I'm gonna get all of that done, including all of the, the spots, and I will be right back. Now we have this lighter color. I'm gonna do the same thing, um, basically everywhere else, filling in. Oh, well, should be some eyelashes by the eye. I totally forgot because that's what's over here. I'm gonna flip that. Oh, please. So, um, now we're going to switch over to the cream color, right, and that's kind of all the, basically the rest of this, until I add in other colors, which I will be adding in other colors for effect, right, but all of this is just kind of going in between, still doing that very light pin pressure by, um, Having them run into each other this way, long ways, it'll help it blend. So I'm going to keep that same direction of fur, even on these narrow passageways. We'll see if I get bored of that, because I might not want to keep doing that. But um, same idea, right? So just very light pin pressure. And I will fill in um, the rest of the giraffe. Yeah, because th this is the second color. So I'll fill in the rest of the giraffe with this sort of shadow. Um, and I will be right back.
Now to add um, some highlights, highlights and shadows, right? So light source, gonna have it coming from like above and to the left. So kind of looking straight at the, at the giraffe. Um, so we're gonna have, you know, a nice good highlight through here. We'll have a little bit of shadowing where that dips over. A little shadowing there. You're going to have some shadowing as, you know, the nostril rounds under. So some of that would be highlight, some of it would not be. Um, again, we have that little bit of a dip. We're going to have that little bit of a... of a... hill? It's not, it's not the word I want to use, but that's the word that's sort of coming out of my mouth. Um, another little bit of shadow and then back into some highlight. But it'll go back into shadow as it rounds under, right? So we're giving that good enough. And I might get rid of, you know, temper this down. Not so dramatic, just like under here. That shouldn't be so dramatic. Now, as I'm adding highlight, right, because I've already added shadow, I don't have to put a ton of pin pressure. I can just add more lines, and in some cases that makes it easier. Because um, more lines like, you know, more pin pressure also brightens things up. Right, you have where this nostril is coming out of the recess, because the light source is coming from above, there would be highlighting there. We'll give a little bit there too. So it rounds down, leaving a little gap for the wrinkling. And then bringing this down. Right, so you see how that's dipping down underneath. Also gonna kind of give just a little bit of an indication of like wrinkling in the face and see how this works. I don't think it looks bad, but I might it might be something I do on a different layer in case it turns bad. Now underneath there'll be a lot of shadowing um, on the bottom lip. A little bit of highlight that kind of goes into shadow over there. And up here, of course. So um, a lot of this process is just kind of figuring out where I think highlights would be. I've sketched in some of it, but where I think something might be catching a light, and maybe where there's going to be a gap where something, you know, twists down or does something else. Um, I'm gonna temper this as well, because I don't want, that shouldn't be like a big, deep changeover. So I don't want like a dark shadow there over this hump in, there, in the head. So there's gonna be some shadowing underneath, subsequently some shadowing down the neck. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, oh, and, and some shadowing, you know, you'll, you'll have shadowing on these guys too. I'm going to go ahead and finish filling out the highlights on uh, this, like, darker brown, and I'll be right back. Um, we're gonna get that cream color. Same thing, you can kind of see now how the shadows and highlights are gonna go. Um, but uh, same thing, right? So just building up the highlights, making sure it's running into um, 
all these areas of you know other color so that there's no real gap building up the highlights in the same way that we did for the other so matching it to what we've already done right because you don't want a shadow on one color where there's a highlight on another it won't really make sense Anytime I've accidentally made a gap, get rid of that gap, right? Um, and just sort of, in general, filling this in. So all of this in between, a lot of this will be highlight. Because a lot of the... Um, spots are highlight, so, you know, that makes it easier, and then we have some areas of shadow over here um, under the neck, of course, because the, the neck would be casting a shadow. You have shadowing under the face. Um, again, makes sense because, well, that'd be casting a shadow. Um, you have some shadowing along the back side here. You're going to have some shadowing underneath here. Some shadowing along the back. You can see how I highlighted the hair on the back of the neck. I highlighted the tips, not the front. So um, I'm going to get all of that done, and I'll be right back. Do kind of sketch out how I want the can I have the um, light flare so giraffe's eyes are pretty dark so I am just going to do oh, but not cream color it's gonna be white and then we'll add in um, some other right so having it up and down indicates the eyelashes are getting in the way because giraffes do have eyelashes. I did it in a different color, um, but usually, you know, what I've drawn over here on both sides are their eyelashes in effect, but um, they, it would be black. But since I'm playing around with the color just a little bit today, I figured I could just do it in this orange color and it'd be fine. Um, also, considering that, um, you know, the, uh, like the, the, Spots and stuff aren't exactly right either. Mm, I'm going to go... I'm just going to finish out um, the other eye real fast, and then we'll look at adding other colors. The uh, I wasn't going to do that, because I don't think I drew that in. Yeah, I didn't really draw that in. Um, but if I just add just like a hint, then I can kind of close the eye all the way. It doesn't really matter. I think it would have been fine. Um, but I'm going to add just a little bit underneath as well. Give some weight to what's under the eye there. Yeah. I mean, I think it would have been fine, but um, I also think it, it probably works out better to have it. I run right into that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take blue, like I have been doing. If you've uh, seen any of my recent videos, um, a little bit more of a bluey blue instead of a purpley blue. And we're going to um, use this to fill in the shadows. And then I'm probably going to take like a mm, yellow or a red and pop some highlights elsewhere. So this should give it an interesting like burst. Just making sure I'm on the right layer. Yeah. Right, and it's just kind of adding in blue to these shadows. Mm. 
works out really well on on like the you know bison and fox and stuff I've done and I bet it'll like help the giraffe pop blue is a it's a great shadow color even though I didn't even go all that dark because it's a cool color for one cool colors recede into the background whereas warm colors pop forward you know also um, when you pair a cool color with a warm color it can help make the warm color pop more just the nature of it and so we'll see how it looks when I'm done if I think it adds or not it doesn't it's very easy to get rid of oh I was also gonna add in well I forgot about that part it's gonna add in some um, skin details on the giraffe but I totally forgot about it that's okay um, I think this be all right. It sometimes works better. I think it works better on like the bison and company where there's lots of fur for it to intermingle. But I don't think it's doing a horrible job here. I don't have to fully fill it in. Just enough to give it some pop too. It really is kind of a play it by ear as you do it kind of thing. Also lets me really fill in in spots where um like that ear where I wasn't going to push any further. I certainly can with this, you know, adding in this blue in. So even though it's, you know, I'm, it's brightening the area up, it still kind of reads a shadow to us. Sort of the nature of it. Still want it to fade, so if that's too much, I can take it off, right? Because I'm pushing too much into the shadow. And it would still work, yeah. So it can add a lot. I, I've been enjoying this sort of experimentation I've been doing. It doesn't have to take over, but it can add a nice, like, burst. Also, in a strange way, it can help things blend because we're, we're brightening it up. Um, <laughs> Even though it, it still kind of gives the appearance of it being in shadow, we're still kind of brightening it up a bit. Oh, well, actually, we're brightening it up a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to take... Hmm, I wonder if I should take yellow. Yellow or red? Let's see what the yellow looks like. I'm just sort of... mix it into the highlights. So again, it's slightly unnatural, but, and you know, with the highlights, we can choose exactly where we're adding it in. There's enough detail on the giraffe. that I don't necessarily want to lose the look of all of the individual lines, so being careful, but I don't think it'll hurt it to like blend in a bit. I'm just kind of doing light pin pressure. The, the blue I was putting some more pressure in at the end, but for the yellow I'm just doing light pin pressure so that I don't, don't overwhelm the, um, the rest of it, right? Like I don't want to overwhelm the color changes. And I'm not going to do it, you know, I'm not going to do it everywhere, so I'm going to leave some spots not yellow. Um, picking and choosing kind of where I'm doing it. Nice bright white spots are a good spot to do it on. Right up against the blue where you have a... Um, uh, a cool color. And then here in the red where it can, you know, you have a different effect happening. Put it up here too, a bit. So using it almost like I'm doing a highlight, but without actually using it as a highlight. Kind of, I think that adds a lot. Just under the eye. 
Oh, what's this out? It's, it's interesting what using like a different color can do to a composition. And then if I wanted to, I don't know how this will look. I can probably push it a little bit into here. Have the shadows and highlights fighting for some dominance there. Yeah. Um, I think it actually adds quite a lot. So there we go. There's a giraffe. All right, so that's how you draw a giraffe. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of our tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.